What's going on guys? So I wanted to go into depth on how to do a porting job and a polishing job on an H22 intake manifold. And uh, from the factory these intake manifolds come with eight runners. Two rows of four, they go across here, across there, and they have throttle blades that are on this mid plate. And it has a little rod, throttle blades open and close with vacuum depending on like throttle position and how much vacuum your motor is making. And then you have your top portion. Uh, so it's, you know, mid plate goes on top, top portion goes on top, and that completes your intake manifold. Uh, I was curious on, you know, if I was going to make power by doing this with no tune or anything like that. So I'm really curious. I'm, like, really excited to keep on working on this thing. So I wanted to also let you guys kind of know, like, what tools I've been using, too. Uh, hacksaw and hacksaw blades, grinding stones, and this carb I've been, uh, this thing. Freaking is a lightsaber. It cuts that aluminum so quick. I also have a cutoff wheel and then, uh, uh, you know, a blower uh, to blow the dust off and everything like that. And uh, this is the one thing that when I was looking up videos and looking up on the forums how to do this is if you go and you start cutting out the centers like this with a hacksaw, you can't start, like, cutting. It's really hard to start a line and have it go straight. So what I did is I took my cutoff wheel and I put a little bit of a cut, about an eighth inch down in there just to get my hacksaw to actually grab that and cut straight and not bounce around and everything like that. As you can see, I did that with that uh, right there. But then my hacksaw blade started dull, uh, dulling. So uh, I got probably, I'd say, four or five hours into this whole job. I've already am pretty much done with the top half of the intake manifold. Did pretty good. Like, it, uh, the video doesn't do justice but I just need to keep, I need to get some sandpaper and sandpaper all this out. So you're basically going to be making these holes and replicating them on the bottom portion of the intake manifold and the mid plate. And then on this mid plate, this is where it got kind of tricky too, is there's holes, all five of them, one, two, three, four, five, that when you put your top portion on, that'll leave air gaps um, from, so, you know, from runner to runner because now you'll have just four. And so I saw people JB welding them, but also JB welding these holes. But the thing that's kind of scary to me is like, you know, this JB weld, uh, you know, you'll have the force of like uh, having the top portion push that down. So I, I would never think that these would actually break apart and going into like your motor. But JB welding these holes is kind of like you're kind of asking for it. So uh, my buddy uh, Philip had never left. He'd probably... Uh, he can weld aluminum. I'm not sure if he'll do it for me, but we'll uh, see about that. And uh, worst comes to worst, I'll just leave those and just kind of, you know, how they say, send it. And then um, that's about it. So, uh, you know, I've been really curious on how if this, if I do this whole mod with no tuning, how it's going to perform on my car. I read up online that you lose bottom end, but you gain top and, you know, various uh, reasons and uh, answers and stuff like that. So I will definitely make another video of the difference in how my car feels once this is all done. So, and uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes.